<laughs> and I'm Christopher Louise, and I'm the... I think you'll find the majority voted to leave. <laughs> so I don't understand why we haven't left yet. One. Chris, we said no politics. Amy, wise up. 52% of this specific audience <laughs> voted to leave. That's all of this side. <laughs> and him. Well, I think, actually, in the interest of balance, there's some very good arguments to remain. Hey, Amy, you said no politics. Well, no, you had your say. Nah! You just... But together, we are <laughs> the, the delightful, delightful sausage. sausage. Hot I'll see ya. Hold tight. <laughs> A long way to be here today, all the way from a little place I like to call York. Ooh. But I shouldn't, because it is pronounced whole. <laughs> Either way, it is a fuck of a long way to come sharing this skirt. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we get out of it? Yeah, let's get out of Can't it. She fussed playing up. Chris! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, the keen eyed amongst you might have noticed that there's something going on here. There are two of us. Yeah, and always been the case, though. No, in fact, uh, back in the day, we originally started out life as a trio. Yeah, but I ate him in the womb. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're a double act. Yeah, unless you work for HMRC, in which case we are window cleaners. <laughs> and in fact, in the very short time that we've been doing this together, our name has already become synonymous with... with the cheapest G speed on the circuit. No. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell him. No, no, no. Let me tell him if you deserve to know. We will not be beaten on price. <laughs> and uh, if Susie Ruffle is telling you otherwise, you come direct to me. <laughs> No, uh, we don't sell any of that stuff anymore. We don't need to, because you guys are looking at the semi-finalists in this year's Keith We've Got Talent. <laughs> Thank you! We did get knocked out. By a magician. <laughs> oh, no, it was good, though, wasn't he? It was really good. He did everything right. So he did um, sleight of hand, he did mind reading, he even did... Spectral tip fuckery. What? <laughs> Mind reading? <laughs> Nonsense. What do I always say? You always say, leave means leave. <laughs> about, about magicians? Oh, you've made it all tense now. Look how sad he is. You made it all tense. We need to lighten the atmosphere. The only way us millennials know how. With a team building exercise! Yay! <laughs> is very simple. All you need to do is keep the balloon in the air while the music's playing. The only catch is that due to budgetary challenges, we have been unable to secure funding for the balloon. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Off we go! Yes! 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 yes. One. yes. Oh, there's loads of balloons! Pass it back to me! <laughs> back to you! So I think you're getting away with it! Yeah, back to you! Yes, thank to you! you. And over that back side! Back to me! Yeah. Back to you! <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, obviously, guys, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Too much fun? What was that catchy tune that was playing then? It's on the tip of my titties, but I can't think what it is. It sounded a lot like, but for the purposes of this recording, categorically wasn't the theme tune to my favourite television show, which is all about embracing open plan design and never, ever referencing 9-11. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> It's a shame. It's not aged well, has it? No. In fact, Chris, you could say Joey's attitudes to women have dated more than he has. But it's not just Joey, is it? Watch again. It's Ross. And it's Chandler. And then three nagging bitches. <laughs> Do you know what? That's not even his worst opinion. <laughs> told me recently I shouldn't breastfeed in public. I do actually stand by that one. Chris, it's 2019, you can't say stuff like that. She doesn't have a child! <laughs> no, but my body, my rules. And actually, without a little milky treat in the morning, he doesn't have the energy to push trolleys around car park. <laughs> Dear Keith! That's 
about our time, guys. We just want to thank you uh, for being not only the perfect audience, but also the perfect alibi. <laughs> think about it. You all saw. We were here. <laughs> so how could we have ever been in Wigan? Both <laughs> in your court, Scotland Yard. Yeah. <laughs> Please, it's